From garbage dumps to tropical jungles, from caves to the seafloor, where only archaeologists do not have to work to please us with new finds. In this video, I will tell you why cave bears hid in caves, what we managed to find in a garbage dump, and what is the most ancient organ that has survived to this day. Hi friend, you're on the Curtop channel. Antique Refrigerator I will start the story about archaeological finds from Bulgaria, where in the camp of Roman legionnaires in Nova, archaeologists found a unique container made of ceramic plates, which was most likely used as a refrigerator. This camp was built in the 1st century AD. The territory of the ancient camp has been studied by Bulgarian and Polish archaeologists for decades. This year, under a guidance of Professor Peter Dicek, a refrigerator was discovered which was located in military barracks. In it, the legionaries kept the remnants of food. Similar refrigerators have been found before, but they are still considered rare. In addition to the refrigerator, archaeologists have found dozens of coins, but the next find discovered at a garbage dump in Poland will definitely surprise you. The largest treasure was taken to a dump. You can find anything in a garbage dump, from rare furniture and collectible prints to weapons and even money. But what exactly no one expected to see in a landfill is one of the largest treasure troves in Europe. In Poland, not far from Wroclaw, in the city of Srodoslanska, a precious treasure was discovered at a construction waste dump, which was nicknamed the Srotsky Treasure. It consisted of medieval coins and jewels of Czech monarchs from the 14th century. The treasure was discovered by workers in 1985, who were raking a pile of construction debris from destroyed houses. One of the workers saw gold coins spilling out of a northernware vessel. He stopped the machinery and took the coins for himself. I note that earlier coins have already been found here, but these were isolated cases. While the local authorities found out about this treasure, some of the coins and precious jewelry were stolen by the locals. When archaeologists arrived at this place and took out everything it was left there, they estimated it at $100-$120 million. Of the most valuable that was unearthed was the royal crown, which belonged to Blanc de Valois, the wife of King Charles IV of Bohemia. So by chance, ordinary workers were able to find one of the most expensive treasures in Europe. From gold coins, we will abruptly move on to drawings of ancient people with giant hats. Drawings of creepy people with huge hats now we will go to central Tanzania, where ancient artists in a cave left us strange drawings. In the Svaga Svaga hunting reserve, archaeologists have found a uniquely painted rock. There, the researchers found the remains of drawings, some of which disappeared without a trace. But one drawing has survived quite well, although it raises many questions. Drawings of humanoid figures with large hats were found in the Amaki 4 cave. According to archaeologists, this cave is several hundred years old, but it is difficult to determine exactly when these drawings appeared here. Researchers believe that these are the heads of buffaloes. In the Sando culture, buffaloes were an important part of the rituals, but there were no people with buffalo heads in their history, although the horns of these characters exactly resemble those of a buffalo. Not far from this place, archaeologists found two more similar drawings of creepy humanoid creatures with huge hats. All of them are very similar to each other. So far, archaeologists cannot give an exact answer who the artist tried to portray in antiquity. But scientists still have a small clue. In the Kandua region where the rock paintings were found, the Sando people live who use various drawings for their rituals. Perhaps they will help archaeologists explain the origin of these drawings. From Tanzania, we will go to the Middle East to another cave where the finds are no less impressive. Weapons older than 400,000 years in Iran, archaeologists, together with their colleagues from France, 
discovered unique artifacts in the Kali Court Cave, which are more than 400,000 years old. They also found traces of ancient people whose age they determined using electron spin resonance, since it was not possible to date the traces by the classical radiocarbon method. A huge number of stone tools in this cave gave scientists the opportunity to restore the chronology of people stay in this place. Archaeologists have suggested that the last inhabitant of this cave was a Neanderthal, and before him there lived Homo erectus and Heidelberg men. At the moment, this cave is considered the oldest settlement on our planet. How many more places like this we have to find, perhaps even older than this cave? But the next find, although much newer, is very unusual. Very rare and unusual item. In the southeast of Germany, archaeologists have found, at first glance, the usual burial of a woman. They dated it to 680. But the object with which she was buried was very strange and rare. Scientists from the Bavarian State Office for the Protection of Monuments say that the woman had a high social status. This is understandable, because a metal folding chair was found next to her. Right, only a folded frame measuring 70 by 45 centimeters has been preserved from the chair, and the age of the woman was estimated at 40-50 years. Most likely, the chair in addition to metal was made of other materials, such as wood and leather. For Germany, this discovery is the first, and in Europe, it is already the 29th in a row, but only six of them had a metal frame. To discover such a find is considered a great gift in the world of archaeology. After all, it is very rare and its meaning is little understood. To better study the ancient world, you need to have more patterns and input data, and for this, archaeologists need to dig and study a lot. In our case, the burial with folding chairs had a symbolic meaning in the past. They buried people with such gifts that had a high social status and this concerned more men. But that's not the problem, in most of the discovered burials were women. In addition to the chair, archaeologists found a pearl necklace with multicolored glass beads and a belt with brooches, and next to it lays the bone of an animal, perhaps a cow. What this present meant to the afterlife, archaeologists could no longer explain. Not far from the female burial, a male was also found. The man was buried with a full complement of weapons and artifacts that have yet to be studied. What was the most delicious cheese you have ever tasted? Write in the comment. And for now, I will tell you about the cheese, which is 2,600 years old. 2,600-year-old halloumi cheese how can you show the finds of archaeologists and not talk about ancient Egypt? So, in the Saqqara necropolis, archaeologists discovered a fermented milk product that we are used to seeing on store shelves these days. 2,600-year-old halloumi cheese found in ancient earthenware vessels. Each vessel had demotic inscriptions, which is a form of ancient Egyptian writing. Archaeologists have examined some of the vessels and confirmed that they contain halloumi. All vessels were taken to the laboratory, where they will be studied in more detail. I understand that some cheeses become more expensive and tastier with age, but I would not try such an expensive cheese. In ancient Egypt, cheese was originally called called harem, but today it has become known as halim, or halloumi. There is another version of the origin of cheese. Some historians claim that it first appeared in the Byzantine period on the island of Cyprus. This cheese melts at a high temperature, so it is often grilled, and from Egypt we will move to Southeast Asia, where the most ancient forest awaits us. Ancient Forest with the Tallest Trees Diptera cups are the dominant group of trees in the rainforests of Kalimantan and have been present on the island for at least 4 million years. This is the third largest island in the world, the only island divided between three states, Indonesia, Malaysia and Brunei. Researchers sound the alarm. This forest is on the verge of extinction and humanity can lose its history, which is 4 million years old. The researchers studied the remains of stone leaves and stated that the modern landscape of Kalimantan existed during the Pliocene era. The island is home to 270 species of dipterocarp, half of the total number of species on the planet. This tree species is one of the tallest tropical trees in the world. Some of them can reach a height of more than 100 meters. 
It is very difficult to find fossilized leaves in the tropical dense jungle. Previously, research was carried out on the basis of fossilized pollen, but the pollen decomposes quickly and the tests were not accurate. Now, archaeologists should hurry to collect as many of the fossilized remains of these ancient giants as possible before humanity destroys the mangroves in this region. Have you ever wondered why ancient bears lived in caves? Watch further and I will try to answer this question. Why did the ancient bear love caves so much? Many documentaries and cartoons have been shot about bears. The bear was a symbol of the 1980 Olympics, is the emblem of many cities, and there are legends about its strength. In ancient times, a bear lived on our planet, which surpassed all those living today combined. The giant reached three and a half meters in height, and they called it a caveman. It's just not clear exactly whether he actually lived in a cave or not. In territories from Ireland and England to Western Siberia, a cave bear appeared about 300,000 years ago, which is a close relative of brown bears. It is not difficult to guess that he got his name for the reason that his remains were found in caves. But we cannot say that he was constantly there. Most likely, the bears climbed into the caves to spend the night. To feed such a giant, the bears had to eat cattle. However, it is not true. Bears are mostly vegetarian and feed mainly on berries, roots, insects, and plants. However, when the bears entered the steppe, it was difficult for them to survive on plants alone, so they ate everything they came across on the way. When their fat reserves were full, they looked for a suitable cave for themselves and fell into hibernation. But their danger awaited the giants. No matter how huge you are, when you sleep, you're vulnerable. That's what cave lions used. Sometimes the bears managed to hide from the lions, but they had another enemy. These are our ancestors. People specifically looked for sleeping bears in order to kill them. The skin was used for clothing, the meat for food, and the cave as a dwelling. But even this was not enough for the people. Based on the killing of clubfoot, they came up with various magical rites, and bear skulls were used as artifacts of power. Approximately 15,000 years ago, the last cave bear was killed by a man, as evidenced by the latest finds of the remains of ancient giants. But the oldest fossilized heart that has been discovered is 380 million years old, and I will tell about it further. The Most Ancient Heart a new find of archaeologists came to us from Australia, although earlier it could have sailed to us. We are talking about the oldest fossilized heart of a living being that has ever been found. This is the heart of a fish, and its age is 380 million years. Previously, scientists could study the anatomy of ancient organs only on the basis of the skeletal system, since the soft tissues of fossil animals practically do not survive to this day. This time, the scientists were very lucky. The heart belongs to a group of armored fish, a type of arthroderae. These creatures lived on our planet between 420 and 360 million years ago. They were among the first vertebrates to develop a jaw. In addition to the heart, scientists managed to find the stomach and test sense and liver of ancient fish. The most interesting thing is that all the organs lay in their original position and for hundreds of millions of years they were not crushed by heavy rocks. Finding fish organs in their original form is an incredible miracle for the scientific world. This helped scientists see how evolution took place and what the anatomy of fish looked like about 400 million years ago, as if they were studying freshly caught fish. Based on the fossils they found, they made the first 3D model of an arthroderae heart. The researchers said that the anatomy of ancient fish was not much different from the human. And if you have, let's say, 25 million dollars, then you can buy yourself a skeleton of a very ancient creature. Tyrannosaurus Rex Skeleton Up for Auction if you're a big fan of archaeology and prehistoric creatures, love to explore the ancient world and tell your friends about it, and if you have at least $25 million, then at the auction in Hong Kong, you can get a 12-meter skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus Rex named Shen. This skeleton was discovered in the United States in 2020 in Macon County in Montana. 
This creature is approximately 68-66 million years old, and the complete skeleton of the giant was collected over two years. The auction will take place this year in November 30, and if you want to have time to buy it, then you should hurry. But most likely you will not have time, because a potential buyer has already been found. A multi-millionaire who plans to place the skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus Rex in his mansion. Let me remind you that its length is 12.2 meters, height is 4 and half meters and this giant weighs almost one and a half tons. Currently, the skeleton belongs to a private collector, but soon the skeleton will go to its new owner. Tyrannosaurus Rex is one of the deadliest dinosaurs on the planet. He had the strongest bite in history while he had a fairly developed brain. This is the only complete skeleton of 80 million Tyrannosaurus that has survived to this day, and the second skeleton which is up for auction. Straight-toothed elephant tusk Two years ago in Germany, between Hannover and Leipzig, archaeologists discovered the bone of a straight-toothed elephant. It was a huge cervical vertebrae. Later, archaeologists discovered other bones of this animal. Finding a complete skeleton of a 4-meter-high elephant is a rarity. After numerous studies, scientists have established that this elephant was eaten by ancient people. However, he died of natural causes. After all, he was about 50 years old, and they found him near an ancient lake where elephants went to drink. And already this year in September in Israel, biologist Lee Perigal found a well-preserved tusk of a straight-toothed elephant. Its length is 2.5 meters and 20 centimeters in diameter. It has not yet been possible to completely get the tusk, so it is still impossible to accurately determine the type of elephant. But, as you know, archaeologists like to rush and draw their conclusions ahead of time. According to them, it is a straight-tusk forest elephant, Paleolaxodon antiquus. It was often hunted by our ancestors and in certain regions, elephants of this species were the main source of meat. Growth exceeded 4 meters and weight reached up to one and a half tons. As you already understood, the meat of such an elephant could feed a very large family. We no longer need to hunt elephants and cave bears. You can watch it on your screens. And to learn about the release of a new video, you only need to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. Leave your kind comments under the video. It helps in promoting the channel. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!